probably the biggest complaint about lawyers is that lawyers do not return their phone calls or they don't return the phone calls promptly. So I thought I'd make a video discussing this because I hear it about other lawyers, I hear it about myself, and I think people just completely misunderstand the situation that the lawyer is in. So first of all, I will say that there are there is a small minority of lawyers who are rude and they just don't care about their clients. But there are very, very few lawyers like that. Most lawyers care about their clients, they care about their cases, and they are going to respond to their clients. They just can't do it within five or 10 minutes of receiving a phone call. So I would say this, first of all, if somebody is telling you that they are trying to get in touch with the lawyer on your behalf, but the lawyer's not responding. You should, you should hold your judgment against the lawyer until you actually speak with the lawyer. And this is because a lot of people uh, will blow the situation out of proportion or just flat out lie about the efforts they're making to contact the lawyer and the lawyer's response time. So I do a lot of real estate. I deal with real estate agents and I deal with loan officers and I've seen these people flat out lie about um, trying to contact the lawyer and the lawyer not getting back to them or just overblowing it. So I'll give you my own experience. I bought a house last year and the lawyer who did the closing for me is a friend of mine and I ran into him at the courthouse, I don't know, a week before the closing and he said he hadn't heard from the bank and he wouldn't make it up. And I didn't even ask him, he just told me the bank hasn't contacted me at all. That same afternoon, I got back to my office and the bank called me and tried to get me all worked up. And they said, we called your lawyer four times. He's not answering us. This is going to delay the deal. This could ruin the deal, blah, blah, blah. And I knew they were lying to me. All right? And like I said, I see other agents and other loan officers lie about me and my correspondence with them. So first of all, like I said, if somebody's saying they can't get a hold of your lawyer, wait till you hear from, from the lawyer before you criticize the lawyer. All right. Next, you need to realize that lawyers are busy. All right. Now, I think lawyers overblow the, the amount of work that they have to do. Okay. They'll talk about always being busy. And lawyers are pretty busy people. They're not always busy to the point of not having a minute in their day. However, there are times when you really don't have time to return a phone call. And almost every day you have something that has to be a priority to you. Right? You have a hearing that you have to prepare for. You have a transaction that you need to close that's involving hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it's hard to put the thing that's that's on the docket for that day, put it aside and return a phone call. All right? So that phone call may need to wait till late in the afternoon or it may need to wait until the following day. All right? The lawyer would be almost negligent to one client to not handle his legal matter in order to answer a phone call about something that's going to happen, you know, weeks in the future. All right? Uh, so another thing is that the lawyer just doesn't have anything to discuss with you. A lot of times I'll talk with clients on the phone and I'll say, when I hear from the other lawyer, I'll call you back. When I hear from the court, I'll call you back. Or something's waiting and I'll tell this person, when I have more information to give you, I'll, call, I'll talk with you. Well, they'll call every day um, looking for an update. And at that point, most lawyers just won't call back, right? They may answer a couple of times and then ultimately they're just gonna stop answering, right? And last point is just following on to this, a client can really burn a lawyer out. So if you talk to the lawyer and every phone call you have with the lawyer is 30 minutes and you don't stay on point uh, and there's really no substance to the conversation and you call them every day, the lawyer's just gonna stop uh, stop answering your call. All right. Now, everybody's stressed out when they get involved in a legal matter. 
whether it's involving family, a business that ripped them off, whatever it is, and you want to complain, but you can't take that out on the lawyer, okay? You need to stick with the pertinent facts and leave it at that, right? And if you keep calling him and wasting his time, he's going to stop answering you. And then lastly, I just want to say this. There are some lawyers who do absolutely nothing but talk on the phone all day. They come into the office, they sit down at their desk, and they just talk and talk and talk. And you may be able to get this lawyer on the phone, and he'll talk with you for however long you want. But in my experience, these lawyers are the most incompetent and overpaid lawyers in the profession. Okay? In order to do that, in order to talk all day, you need to have a paralegal, um, an associate. You need to have people around you who are doing the actual work for you. So these lawyers, yeah, they answer the phone, but when they actually show up to argue at a hearing or to close a transaction, they don't know any of the details of the actual work that's been done. Uh, they don't know the legal arguments in the motion. They don't know the facts of the case. Um, in fact, I went to a closing once and I was with one of these lawyers who, who will answer the phone and talk all day. And one of the checks was wrong. And we had to postpone the closing because his secretary was out of town and he didn't know how to print new checks. All right. And on top of that, when you're paying this lawyer who, who's a talker, um, you have to pay not just for him, but you have to pay for his paralegal, his associate, and all of the people beneath him who are doing the work. So you're getting this incompetent lawyer and you're paying 20, 30, 40 percent more than you would with some other lawyer who's going to take a little bit more time uh, to get back to you. All right. So if you're having trouble communicating with your lawyer, uh, if it's through the phone, give them some time. Maybe even try an email and he'll respond to that. Um, and if you're hearing from somebody else that the lawyer is not responding fast enough, hold your judgment until you speak with the lawyer.